It's magic review time! Yay! <laughs> Hey everybody, welcome back to another Magic Review, Magic Orthodoxy, the channel. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending some of your quality day, quality time, quality day with me. Today, we're gonna look at Collared 2 from John Archer and Vanishing Incorporated. All right, so Collared 2, what is this? Uh, this is a full five minute comedy routine where you bring out a cuddly toy dog and then you tell the audience that the name tag is blank and that it needs a name. And then through the dialogue and your jokes and humor, uh, the audience helps you randomly either pick a name or choose letters one at a time. There's no force, there's no forcing at all. And then at the end of it, the dog's collar is turned around and the name that he had on his collar the entire time is the one uh, that the audience picked. It's a great little routine, adaptable for big stage and little. Let's get into this review. So for you, this trick checks off all the boxes. You love dogs, you love magic, and you love naming things. You order it, it comes to you in the mail, what are you gonna get? Uh, you're gonna get everything you need to do this trick. Uh, you're gonna get a magic clipboard, and I do mean magic. This clipboard is awesome. Uh, if you're a mentalist, you're gonna love this and you're probably gonna use it for other things as well. You're gonna get a bunch of birth certificates. This is the thing that sits on the clipboard that you're writing down as the trick is going. Uh, and you're gonna get a lot of those so that you can perform this multiple times. And you know, just save one at the end and then make photocopies and you'll always have another one ready to go. You're gonna get the plastic dog tag, of course, and the gimmicks uh, that go along with it. You'll get the Sharpie that you use to write out the birth certificates. Now, the only things not included are the stuffed animal, okay? So you will not get a stuffed animal. You will have to supply your own, which means it doesn't have to be a dog, right? It could be a cat, it could be whatever you want, right? It could be as cheap or as expensive as you want it to be. Uh, then I would purchase a collar, probably go to PetSmart or a pet store and get an actual collar and bring your stuffed animal with you just so that you know it's gonna fit. And then um, I would probably buy some additional Sharpie markers and you'll have everything you need. Is it what I thought? It's absolutely what I thought because I watched the trailer. If you watch the trailer, there is a full live stage performance with John Archer going through the entire trick unedited. So you will be able to see every prop and every joke and you'll, you'll know exactly how it plays out and you'll be able to make the best decision ever. Does this routine work for me? Okay? I know we get excited when we see magic tricks and commercials Every single commercial wants to tell you that this is the trick you want, but many times, every time, you need to make that choice for yourself. Does this trick fit my persona? And will it fit into the kinds of tricks that I already do? Will it be believable? Will people really believe me when I do this trick? Because if, if, if part of the trick is you saying, you know, I spent 10 years living in the mountains talking to a Sherpa, no one's gonna believe you if they know you and they know that's not true, right? So you gotta pick and choose. So I love the fact that John Archer has included an entire uh, trailer that includes the entire routine so that you can make that choice. You know, John Archer says in the in the video, that this, is, this has been one of his staple tricks for much of his career. This is a signature trick for him. That's great, but it doesn't mean it's gonna be a signature trick for you. And that's okay also. Part of why we do this exchange of watching these tricks play out and reviewing them is so that you can make that choice. You wanna spend your money wisely and only get the tricks that are gonna work for you. All right, so how are the angles and can it be inspected? Uh, angles are good. Um, the only thing you're really doing in this trick is palming, okay? And the device that you're palming is very small. So if you're comfortable with palming, especially palming uh, in front of a live audience, then you should have no troubles with this at all. As far as inspectability, uh, that's pretty much the second aspect of this. Um, the fact that it's now colored to uh, John tried to uh, redesign the dog tag so that it was a little bit more inspectable, looked a little bit more 
realistic and, and work with that. And so um, the person you invite up on stage fully gets to inspect the dog or the dog tag. So it should be wonderful. All right, so how's the instructional video? How's the overall quality and production value? Uh, John is standing against a wood panel background. It's a dark, dark set, dark, he's wearing dark clothes. Uh, it's mostly a steady shot. There's a couple of close-ups. I don't remember any distracting music and uh, that you can, you don't have any trouble hearing him. The overall video is 21 minutes long, okay? 21 minutes, so, you know, not too short, not too long. It's, it's right in there. However, you won't find the live performance in the instructional video. That is only in the trailer. So if you want to keep that for yourself to refer back to it time and time again, you will need to find a way to download that part of it. As far as what he's going to teach you, he's going to go over what's in the box. Uh, he's going to go over the setup, uh, the performance, and the reset. He's going to give you a couple of tips about what type of stuffed animal and uh, what type of performance venue and how he works a room. And uh, like I said, if you watch the full live trailer, I think you'll get more information. All right, so is it well made? It's very well made. Uh, and again, this is part of the reason why there's a colored two is because John has gone back and redesigned a lot of these props so that they are easier to use and more quiet. As far as the practice that it requires, like I said, it's mostly palming. If you have no trouble with palming, uh, the skill level on this trick is very minimal. Anyone should be able to do it. How much setup and reset is there? Uh, this is really a parlor effect or a stage effect. And so, uh, Usually you don't ask those questions as far as setup and reset because you get everything ready before the show and you're not planning on resetting afterwards. So setup and reset is, you know, not really a, a point here. Positives. All right. So what are the good things I can say about Colored 2? Uh, Colored 2 comes with wonderfully made props, a clearly explained tutorial, and a routine that's fun for all ages. This is going straight into my next kid's show. Negatives. All right, so what are the negatives? You know, there's always something negative we can say about everything. And I try to be totally upfront and honest with all of my reviews. Uh, the reality is when the uh, inscribed name tag is turned around, the dog's name has been handwritten by you. And for the person on stage, it should be obvious to them that you hand wrote the tag. I think when you watch the trailer, you're led to believe that the dog tag is engraved and it's not engraved. Um, it is clearly handwritten in your handwriting. You, you are writing it out. And so you need to decide again, it does this work for you and your audiences. You know, John has no trouble. I'm sure he's done this for plenty of adults and it goes over great. And uh, like I said, I think this would be great for kids shows and you can always tailor make the routine to anything you want. So if you're at a public school, you can make the stuffed animal their mascot. If you're at a kid's birthday party and it's a theme like how to train your dragon, you could make the stuffed animal a dragon or toothless, right? So there's a lot of different things that you could work into this to make it your own effect. Is it worth your money? It is 50 bucks, 50 bucks. And it comes with a lot of really great props. Just be prepared to spend another $20 or $30 more to have everything you need. Who would like this? Like I said, working professionals, really, this is targeted at the working professional. Somebody that does kid shows or parlor shows or small stage shows, I think would definitely love this. All right, so that's everything I can say about Colored 2 from John Archer and Vanishing Incorporated. I wanna thank Murphy's Magic Supplies for allowing me to have this so that I could do the review for you. And if you'd like to purchase it for yourself, you can find it at your favorite Murphy's Magic dealer. Thanks, I'll see you guys next time, bye.